My name's Sarah and this is Sayla. We're in our final month of the World Race and today is our last day of ministry. We started out the race together and now we're ending the race together with a joint vlog. Yeah! This month we are in northern Uganda serving at Invepi Refugee Settlement with an organization called Child Voice and we want to show you a bit of what this month's been like. So this month we've been working with an amazing staff team of committed social workers and counselors um, all from Uganda um, with there's a couple there's a couple Sudin. who actually grew up in the settlement and are now working for the organization which is really cool so we've been going out on the field with them we've been doing home visits doing assessments uh, mobilizing girls distribution distribution identifying refugees so primarily child voice focuses on adolescent girls um, age 12 to 18. They kind of felt like those were the girls who were most at risk. Um, there's a lot of girls who are child mothers who have been taken away from their home and who got married at a very young age. So they focus on them, getting them back into school, getting them proper um, menstrual hygiene, and just counseling and things like that. First thing every Monday, the girls have a time of worship and devotional. There are several different zones within the settlement, so each zone has its own groups and its own special community. After devotional time, the girls learn IGAs, which means income generating activities. These are trades meant to empower them to learn skills and to start their own businesses and be financially independent. We're with the ladies. Yeah, we're watching them make the reusable pads. Here's an example of one, but it doesn't have the attachment. And it will eventually get some strings that wrap around. Right. So what's really innovative is this part is actually uh, made of an envelope from the U.S. Postal Office that is waterproof paper. So it's kind of ingenious. And they're supposed to last up over a year. And they're making the bags for them. And the bags are waterproof so that you can put the dirty part in it and then clean it at the end of the day. My favorite IGA was watching the girls make donuts from scratch. It blew me away how they were able to produce something to generate income without even having a kitchen. Welcome to my baking show. Oh. It might need more color. So today we went into one of the local communities and went to the primary school and were able to put together and hand out over 99 hygiene kits. And each kit has some panties, some pads, and some laundry soap. So these packs are really important to the girls because once they hit puberty and get their menstrual cycle, it becomes really difficult for them to continue to go to school. But with these packs, they're able to manage their menstrual hygiene and continue their education. Child Voice also goes out into the settlement zones to serve the adolescents out of school and child mothers. These kits are the perfect way for Child Voice to connect with these girls on a monthly basis. The goal is to get the girls proper hygiene products so that they're able to return to school without facing any barriers. So we're wrapping up our last month on the world race and we ended in Uganda and we ended at probably one of my favorite ministries of the whole year. Like Sayla said, this is one of the most impactful months that we had on the race. One of the things that struck me the most was that when you, in America, you have this idea of what you think a refugee camp looks like. But one thing that they're trying to create is, it's called a settlement, not a camp. And 
they're trying to create a home and a community for these people who have escaped war back in their homes and they're trying to give them a new life. And so it's not the tarps and the tents that you see, it's they give them supplies to build an actual home. And I think that's what was so beautiful is you could see that they were being able to rebuild their life. And so many of the girls that we worked with, they were the head of their household and they were 16, 18 years old. They had children and they were, they were babies, but they were running a home and learning skills to create a new life for themselves. It was incredible. This is probably the worst month to transition back to America. Yes. Um, like we saw kids who have distended bellies that are starving and women who have scars all over their bodies and can tell you the most horrific stories of their family members being kidnapped. Um, uh, just stories of war um, and how they escaped that. However, I think the hope that's there, Africa, is, it's unlike any place on earth. It truly changes you being here, and it's taught me some very powerful lessons in faith. Absolutely. And I think working with Child Voice, it just, you could see the impact that they're making in all of these girls' lives. And I think one of the most powerful things is that some of the staff who are now working for Child Voice were once beneficiaries. And I think that says speaks volumes of who they are as an organization, that they now have people working for them who it impacted. Mm -hmm. And now they're making an impact in the communities that they grew up in. Mm -hmm. And then many of the girls, once they age out of the program, have been able to start sustainable businesses. Mm -hmm. There's a marketplace in the settlement um, where the girls are learning how to sell donuts and bread and things that they make, um, things that they farm. So it's, it's truly, it was an incredible privilege to be there, so. This is one of our last videos on the world race. This is Sarah, if you didn't know. And this is Sarah, <laughs> if you didn't know. And we made this video together. We started the race together, and now we're Indian together. Yeah. In one of the most incredible months. Um, this is a month that I'll never forget. So thank you for everyone who's been watching. <sighs> Goodbye from Uganda. Into a strong, fruitful tree as the days unfold. Hey. Hold your breath to see life is a mystery, and joy is when the way is rough and steep. Love will make your days come